being around this club and being around everybody at the club here, um, you get to meet a lot of young uh, people that are passionate about, you know, really water sports. One of our coaches over at the Sailing Center who coaches 29ers um, invited us out to kite once and we fell in love with it. Um, and we got it through him, through sailing, and did a few lessons with him, got the hang of it. I know these kids had, had learned how to kite. Uh, Stefan Baker, uh, uh, Griggs, and Emery, they did this during COVID. And I was expecting to see them go back and forth and maybe stay up wind. Here I am seeing big back rolls, front rolls, they're all foiling, they're tacking on, on wings. I didn't even know they winged yet. And I was looking, I said, well, I guess, well, why wouldn't they be? They're world-class sailors with their aspirations of going to the Olympics. Philip Moeller from uh, next door over at US Sailing, he's one of the top coaches in the United States. He has a fantastic program, his 29er program is really a feeder class for the Olympics. And uh, it was really interesting to hear his, um, his take on his encouragement of, of these young top athletes uh, with pure aspirations of sailing. He encourages them that he has a foiling day where they brought a NACRA in, a foiling NACRA, and you get to go foiling, uh, kites, wing surfers. With high performance sailing, you know, with windsurfing, kiting, and winging, it really puts you in tune with very minute changes that make a big lasting impact for the speed, balance, and performance of your boat. And those skills are very transferable. So in my program, you know, we're trying to teach elite sailboat racers on a high performance skiff. But after practice, we go winging, we go kiting, we go foiling, because they need these supplemental, really complementary skills in order to become better performance athletes. I do like the fact that he's trying to keep their, their minds sharp, uh, uh, the young people focused on having fun, that all surrounded sailing. Um, you know, these are, are wind-powered vessels. They're all part of the sport that these kids uh, grew up doing from the time they were probably uh, five to six years old. And uh, it's just um, different speeds and different angles. The sailing is definitely just work and it the spark of fun that you first got at the beginning of doing it. After doing it for a while, that starts to go away and just be purely just work and just like trying your hardest on everything. And whereas kiting afterwards, it's just purely to have fun and there's really nothing else to it, just fun. It's super cool to see you guys at the, whether coaching or in the boat, physically sailing, also super interested in the kiting and the performance aspects of it at the highest level. I mean, they're, they are at the absolute pinnacle, obviously, of the sailing within, within small boat sailing for sure. Um, and to see those guys, you know, relate to what we're doing on the water, whether it's foiling or winging or kiteboarding, and just be just as excited about doing that as they are about, you know, their training in the Olympics, it's, it's super gratifying. It's, it's very satisfying. As a driver, which is what I do, just looking at the water and constantly just looking at the wind, where the puffs are coming down, reading the waves as you're kiting, all of that translates directly into sailing itself and pretty much just just the time being out on the water just directly helps with sailing. It's a very safe thing when you have a one-on-one -on -one teacher or a group teaching but if you're with a professional you'll be fine. I mean it's not it's not overly complicated at all it's pretty easy you're just there's one control which is the bar basically and you have a little deep power line but that's it but you control the kite with two hands and it's not that complicated. Sailing is, you have main sheet, tiller, like all that stuff, that's that's more, but the kite, you're just holding something. It's super achievable. When I first saw winging online and with one of my previous coaches doing it, I thought it was gonna be way less fun than kiteboarding and just kind of just like a knockoff of kiteboarding pretty much. But then once I started doing it, it just, it's a different feeling that I can't really describe, but, and the fact that it's so easy to go and do, like I can do it after sailing, I can do it, I do it really often after school, I come home from school, I see that there's wind, and I just go off my neighborhood and go winging quickly, and it takes, I think, like five minutes to set everything up, and just go out and just have fun, and it's, it's super safe, so my parents allow me to do it by myself, whereas kiting, they don't as much let me go out alone to go and do that, but for winging, since there's not 
they're not a lot of moving parts in it. They just let me go out by myself and I just have fun and I'm super self-sufficient about it. And that's part of the thing that makes it just amazing. If you looked at sailing where it is today and you wanted to get into foiling, I think winging is kind of your answer. And it's, it's interesting too, if you look at a lot of the America's Cup guys during their time in New Zealand, every single one of those guys is winging in their free time. The, these younger uh, people that have a great sailing background and, and no fear of the water, the sky's the limit for how fast you can learn. And that day on Sunday, I think, just proved it to me when I saw all of these kids out there ripping back and forth. We had some new prototype Cabrina kites out and, and I could see them kind of frothing at the cool white kite, you know. So I said, hey, you want to take that for a spin? And by and large, all of them came, that's the best kite we ever rode. Okay. The fact of the matter is they were a little excited. I could have, I could have thrown the worst kite out there and it, it would have been the best. But no, it was, it was just, a, it was great to see and it, it kind of um, validated my concept that, that, um, that uh, kiting and winging for sailors is just such a, uh, a perfect fit.